my dear friends in Christ today we see in the first reading some beautiful advices that gives to us so, so as to how we should live in the book of Proverbs chapter 3 verse 27 onwards my dear friends it says whenever you possibly can do good to those who need it never tell your neighbor to wait until tomorrow if you can help him now if you can really help someone now if you can be generous to someone now who is in need and if you have an ability to help that person please the word says don't say go and come tomorrow because if you can do it do it sometimes we think it's gi giving when we when we take things or take money or take anything from our pocket or our store we think that we lose them no my dear friends it's an investment when you give with your generous heart to someone out of your own pocket it becomes the double the amount that's very true when we give with the with a generous heart it gets back to us in abundance in double the amount so don't worry the more you take from your pocket the more your pocket will be filled by the Lord and then it says don't plant anything that will hurt your neighbor he lives beside you trusting you don't do any harm to your neighbor because you know my dear friends we we are human beings we need a community we need one another to live on otherwise we cannot survive our sustenance will be cut off and we will not be able to live any longer without anyone and especially the neighbors who are around us we need them we need them if 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 there is anything you know, uh, for good for bad for both we need them when things are not right with us then we need them it's with their support that we can we can tolerate things with their support that we can uh, definitely uh, uh, put things right so we need them so don't fight and quarrel with them but be friendly and united and make peace with them all the time then it says don't argue with someone for no reason when he has never uh, uh, never done anything harm if someone has not done anything harm to you if you are thinking about him and thinking and being being uh, afraid of him don't harm the person sometimes it so happens no my dear friends in some factory it's a, uh, there are people who come to me and tell in my factory there's above me there's a manager who really always uh, blames me who really uh, find fault with me because he wants to prove that I am incapable of my office sometimes it so happen mm. Then uh, it says, don't be jealous of violent people or decide to act as they do because the Lord has hates people who do evil but he takes righteous men into his confidence. So my dear friends, we should not follow traitors. We should not follow people who are, who are uh, like... Uh, living in sin living in uh, desperation living in utter uh, sinful ways so we should not follow them we should not be acquainting them we should not have any company with such people because sometime without our knowledge we will also be accompanied in the same way if we are acquainting with some robbers ultimately without uh, uh, without our knowledge with our awareness and we become sometime the same robbers or thieves 
can't help and we have been prone to do that so that's why the world says don't have any company with such people and because the wicked are being cursed but the but the righteous people are being blessed by the Lord so let us pray today as the Lord tells us a set of principles set of advices that we have to have in our day-to-day -day lives it's very important that we yield ourselves to the word and heed the word and act accordingly when we act according to the word you know the blessing of the Lord we, because we, it, it pleases the Lord and when it pleases the Lord we will be blessed all the time and blessed in abundance Amen God bless you have a nice day